Hi there and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be showing you, um, I'm just going to be talking you through actually how I've made this um, uh, image slider here, as you can see, I'm using this bar down the bottom to scroll between the images and, and that's done via jQuery. Um, unfortunately I don't have enough time to go through and show you how to type out uh, part by part but in the description you'll see a link for a zip file for all the files you need. Um, I'm sorry I haven't done a, a tutorial on it but I, uh, been quite busy recently and obviously at this time of year is busy for most people as well so I apologize for for that um, but basically uh, this is a request um, made um, for um, a tutorial showing uh, after no, they are watched uh, my jQuery slider which I did in two parts they wanted one um, wanted to know if they I could do one that was I had a, a scroller bar and a lot of um, a lot of image uh, scrollers with a with a scroller bar uh, are done in Flash because it's a lot smoother and easier to do. But I haven't I haven't coded in Flash in a, a long time. Um, I know it's um, I know it's possible to do in a with Action Script three, but um, I haven't touched I haven't touched that in a, quite a while, and I want to do this quite quickly um, because I'm I'm not going to have an, a lot of time between now and Christmas to do a lot of tutorials. So. Um, but after Christmas, I should have one or two more tutorials for you. So I hope you can do a new Photoshop one, um, and maybe another, maybe another jQuery one. But I'm going to try and do one or two more Photoshop ones. But anyway, uh, as you can see, I've got four images here, and the main, um, uh, to be honest, a lot of this effect is actually uh, pulled off in the CSS. I mean, this image here. If you imagine that the other images actually come off here where my mouse is, if you can see where my mouse is moving, if you imagine another one is to the right of it there, and they just keep going, and all you're doing with the slide is you're pulling the images across to the visible area, which is this box. The rest of them, when they go off this side, they're being hidden again, and that's what's shown in the in the in the files. So I'm just going to quickly open up the few files we need. I'm using standard. Uh, jQuery, it's the latest version you can download from their website. Um, and we need that one as well. Right. Okay, so here we go. So let's have a look at the actual HTML file. So we've got HTML tags, head tag, and we've got three script files. The first one is linking to the jQuery file, it's the main jQuery library. The second one is linking to the slider UI uh, file, and the bottom one is linking to our sliders uh, effects basically which is just telling it to animate um, and what to do it at a, at a percentage, uh, not percentage, a, a maximum width what it should be doing and things like that. Um, so underneath we've got um, the div ID content scroll which is the main box for everything. Um, we've then got content holder which um, is holding it within that within that box and then we have the div class content item. And all you're doing is, if you want to include more items, you're literally just making a new div, um, div class content item. You're putting whatever you want inside it, and I've got a p tag as well because I've used that as the grey title um, underneath. You don't have to have that; you can remove that quite simply. I'll show you in a minute. Um, I've repeated that a few times. And then right at the bottom, off, we've closed the main div for content scroll. That's quite important. You must remember to make sure it's outside of that. Um, we've put the div ID content slider, which is actually the, that slider bar. So let's go into the. I'll just quickly show you this. You don't need to touch this. This is a plugin that I found. Um, I didn't write. I didn't uh, write this myself. I've rewritten a, the slider J, um, jQuery file a bit to do what we need to do with images and things like that. But there's um, there's hardly any difference between what you would need to change. But this is just the plugin file that's using. I haven't needed it up because there's no need. You don't need to touch anything in there. It all works uh, perfectly fine. I'll show you the side gesp and then we'll be done with all the jQuery stuff. Um, so all you're doing in here, uh, the top one is it's looking at content slider which is the slider bar that you're moving across and you're telling it to animate and then you're setting these two um, variable functions here, change and slide, okay, which we then use in our function here, in the function handle <coughs> here and here, which is just telling it what to do when we're moving it and what it's going to be changing and things like that. So again, all it's doing is it's setting the scroll width within that uh, div ID, um, telling it to animate scroll left, and it's giving it a value of maximum scroll as well, um, which 
obviously this readjusts itself uh, it doesn't change in here but what this basically allows is that if you add more images the scroll bar rather than having to extend it you'll just be scrolling a smaller bit to move on to the next image if that makes sense but you might I'll try and show you that in a sec right in the CSS again you'll just have to look through here because most of this is fairly self-explanatory but um, the body doesn't matter too much just set that so it's centralized in the middle of the page uh, content sliders this is our um, slider bar at the bottom here okay so I've just if you see border red there and there you are there's the border the red one pixel border going around it as you can see um, that's setting that so that's setting that I've set the same width there so it matches the width of the image um, UI slider is the blue bar that you're then moving across that um, content scroll is the main like I said the main div which holds everything within it uh, again, this is important. Overflow is hidden. That other, if you change that, if you got rid of that, it would obviously all the images would be um, displayed, and it wouldn't then create the effect that we want to. It wouldn't work um, without that. So that if if you have any problems where all your images are showing up, you've probably either forgotten to include that, or you've deleted that somehow, or perhaps it, uh, the tags aren't closed off quite right. Um, content holder. I've put a note here uh, to change the width if you need to add more pictures for inside. Yeah, this is the main content holder. Um, now. What I've done is, is those four images have a pic have a width of 400 pixels. Okay, so 4416, um, 400 times 4 is uh, 1,600 pixels. So all you need to do basically is times the number of pictures that you want to add to this by the maximum width. If you have diff differing bit uh, widths, even uh, just times it by the maximum width, and you set the maximum width in here because otherwise you won't have enough space in the slider. The slider won't be able to move on to that last image or, or last two or three images if you change that. Same with the height. Uh, the height doesn't matter too much, but obviously that's limiting the area that you can actually see of the image if 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 you're doing that. The content item, obviously, we've to uh, sort of said is the um, div class that you're repeating each time you want to add a new item in, which is this is just the holder for that image item um, if you imagine it as such um, and then we've got the P class at the bottom there so there's really not a lot in there but if I just change something really quickly I'm just going to change um, that's fine I'm going to change these if I change this to 600 we'll get a bit of a gap basically and I'll change the content side so it matches it to 600 as well I need to change the body width to 600 as well otherwise it's going to complain All right content item is 400 so I'm going to save that I'm just going on here refresh it and here you are I've extended it so if you wanted more than one image to be able to show and you can put a gap between these two images as well quite simply in your um, code or your CSS just put um, if you put a break in I think that would do it or you can put in um, some padding just put some simple padding left padding in in the CSS and that will do it for you but as you can see now I've extended it but as you can see the jQuery has automatically updated itself so that when I'm pulling the slider across Okay, because that's pretty much where it finished last time. Uh, it might be a bit further on, but it's automatically adjusted itself, so it expands out the 600 pixel width, so that you can pull it all the way to the end, and you'll be finishing on the last image. Okay, like that, and it does work very smoothly. Uh, I found it works fine in Firefox. Um, I haven't actually tested it in IE, I'm afraid, but I I I wouldn't have thought there'd be any problems with it. There weren't any problems with the last. Um, jQuery image slider that I tested in the Internet Explorer, but please let me know if there is any problems. Are any problems? Sorry. Um, again, sorry that I haven't been able to go through step by step um, writing this out in a tutorial for you. Um, if you do have any problems or questions, or you want to use this, but you you're not quite sure how to set it up in a different way so that it's it's going to work the way you want it to please you know send me a message leave me a comment of how you want to do that and if i've got time i i will do my best to you know try and do a quick mock up for you of what you want and you can have a look at that uh, all these files are in a zip file in the description um which you can download um so yeah you know just grab those they'll all it will work exactly um to the version previous to this where it wasn't spanning across 600 but the 400 pixel width you'll have one image sliding at a time um, so have a play around with that um, and you can always re-download it if you bodge the files up at all but I'm sure you won't so uh, thanks for watching guys please um, rate comment and subscribe and um, if you want if you want to request any more tutorials um, please do but uh, please be uh, aware that I may not get around to doing them just uh, until you know the week after Christmas 
because um, I'm quite busy at the moment. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Cheers.